Hi, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel where we are advocates for being uniquely you, blocking out negativity and letting dreams come true. If you are a returning family member, welcome back, gang. Welcome back, gang. Welcome back, gang. And if you are new to the family, welcome, 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 welcome. Okay, guys, as you can see by this title and by the background today, I am in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen. I'm in the... Hey, I'm in the... So what we are going to be doing today is y'all are going to be cooking dinner with me tonight and today what's on the menu is some steak, potatoes, and I'm going to steam some vegetables, some broccoli. So some steamed broccoli, homemade potatoes, and steak. So I have my bowl here, I'm going to use that for the marinade, um, and then once I'm done with that for the potatoes or whatever, I have some of my seasonings out over here. Well, this is just parsley to put on top of my potatoes, but my parsley to put on top of my potatoes. I only got a little bit of onion powder left. Dang. And then I have my garlic powder. And I'm going to get some salt and pepper. I'm going to put chicken broth in my potatoes. But first things first, let me just start one thing at a time. Everybody's day went well. That's what I'm hoping for, y'all. Um, let's see. How many potatoes I want? I gotta rinse my potatoes off too, y'all. I just got some regular um, potatoes, okay? So I got one, two, three, four, but depending on how I'm feeling, I might get some more. Now I'm gonna get into making the marinade or the steak. Okay, you guys, so that's the marinade that I use, the mesquite. Um, it's good for beef, chicken, or fish. It says on there, it's kind of like a smoky taste. Um, and I needed one fourth cup water. So I was getting the one fourth cup water to put in the bowl. And then I needed the one fourth uh, cup of oil. And then after I got the one fourth cup of water and oil, I would go ahead and just pour that seasoning into the bowl and mix it up and i feel like this tasted good on the steak but personally it might taste a little better like on chicken because it did have that smoky taste and to me it would probably be more cohesive and fluid with like a chicken to give it that grilled taste there are other flavors for this mesquite marinade um but i wanted to try it I'm gonna put those in there so it's a bigger bowl. These are thin cut steaks and I'm gonna put it in here so it's a bigger bowl. Then as you guys can see, I just poured the mesquite marinade into the bowl of the steaks. Showing y'all the marinade right there, then I'm just stirring it up. And yeah, I'm trying to get it all nice and flavorful. Washing my hands, cleaning up my mess. Okay, so I put the steak in the fridge and it's in the marinade. Covered it up, put that in the fridge. So I'm gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes. Obviously, the longer you let it marinate, the more the flavors get to soak in. But I didn't do that last night or nothing. So Y'all so much for all the love and support. It is greatly appreciated and it's definitely motivating to keep going, you know? So, I just wanted to thank y'all. Okay, I'll brush off 
my potatoes so that they don't oxidize. So I just fill my bowl with the water. Nothing spectacular. Fill that with the water. Okay, okay. Get my cutting board. Okay, y'all, so right here, I just got my plastic bag so that I can cut the potatoes, um, the skin off of the potatoes. So that's what I was doing with the potato peeler and then placing my potatoes that I cut the skin off inside of that pot with the water so they wouldn't oxidize. And then I just repeated this step for all of the potatoes there, trying to get all the skin off as best as possible, but without losing too much potato. Okay, you guys, so I try to get all the brown spots off as much as possible, but sometimes, obviously, there's going to be some that's deeper into the potato. And since I'm cutting these and mashing them anyway, it doesn't matter. I just dig them out with, the, up with this end of the potato peeler and just kind of dig them out. But, I mean, I try to scrape as much off as possible, but sometimes, like I said, there's some that's deeper in the potato. Okay, and then after that, I just continue to dig out the pieces of skin that were a little further into the potato and then just continue cutting and trying to do just like one clean stroke at a time but cutting the skin off so it's not like all inconsistent and choppy Now that I finished putting my potatoes and put them in the water, get my knife. I can cut these up. You a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, you got the swag sauce, you drip the swag too. You a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, you got the swag sauce, you drip the swag too. Oh, you a bad girl. Oh, nice and cut. My potatoes are in here. They're about this big. Okay, y'all, so now I'm gonna let this boil. I poured the water out. I'm gonna put some chicken broth in there instead of water. Let it boil. I guess I can show y'all. Let me see if you can see. Okay. So I'm going to just let this. Oops. Cover. I don't want to waste all this chicken broth. So I'm going to just pour a little. I'm going to just pour some in there. And then the rest with a little bit of water. Just until everything is covered, you know? Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna let that boil. So this is covered. Hope y'all can see me. Okay. Boom. Boil and add a little salt in there. do my flavors like my onion powder and my garlic powder pepper tasty see how that tastes once I'm done letting that soak because I'm just gonna pour that out anyway so I don't want it to be all the flavor just be poured in the sink you know so go and get a little bit of that flavor 
Remember that flavor, flavor, and hopefully all these steaks fit on here because, baby, that's ghetto. That is ghetto, y'all. That is ghetto. Okay, look, I'm gonna have to make it what it all. Look, we playing a little Tetris right now, okay? So, trying to put these steaks on here, guys. Okay, bam. Okay, you guys. So, I was just putting the rest of the marinade over the top because you can't, you know, do it afterwards. That since the raw meat was in the marinade, you don't want to pour a raw meat marinade on your cooked steak because that's cross-contamination. But I was just cutting a little hole so the marinade could seep through the steaks as well and capture some of that moisture. I'm going to pump a couple holes. Okay, y'all. Yeah. Y'all, yeah, I don't even really eat ice cream like that, but I want some ice cream. That'll do it. <laughs> hey, guys, my potatoes have come to a boil. The chicken broth, I put some salt in there. Let me see. Really. It smells good. You can smell the chicken broth. Those are getting soft. Okay, I'm gonna let those keep boiling because they're not done yet. Hard to record and cook on hand, but these. Try to get a big one and see if it's done right there. Yeah, I'm gonna bite it, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's good. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna strain this. Hold on. I hate to have wasted that chicken broth because it smells so good and it actually added so much. Well, the like chicken broth adds flavor, but I just dumped them in the strainer. Love my bad job, but I just dumped them in a strainer. Okay. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh. I don't know why would I try to do that, but it tasted so free. Mm. Mm -mm. Hold on. Because I really want to eat them like this and put some hot sauce on these mugs. Mmm. <laughs> Woo. That's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Hot. I'll do it. <coughs> so I just put the potatoes back in the pot. Okay. I'm gonna add some butter. Add a little onion powder. Onion powder. A little garlic powder. A little bit more salt. And a little bit of milk. I'm gonna throw these vegetables in, y'all. Steam these now. Put a little butter in the pan. Bam. Y'all can be stinking, bro. Put a little bit more butter. A little bit more butter in the potatoes. A little sour cream. A little sour cream. A little 
bit of milk. You all look here, I just be eyeballing this stuff. See, that's why I can't bring the key off. Well, just know that's what I got up in there, okay? <laughs> this setup is trash, y'all. I'm gonna mash my potatoes. A little more butter. We think we had enough. Maybe get some more ingredients. Pepper it, a little bit of pepper. Let me see if y'all can see That's where we at so far. Gotta keep mashing them, though, y'all. That's good though. That's a good consistency. Mm. That's good. I'm gonna, um, man, I wish I could see better. That's working, 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 working. Working, 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 working. <laughs> so now I'm gonna mix this in here. A little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, baby. Sexy baby. I like my broccoli a little, a little steam, like a little, I want to see a little brown to it, baby. So, don't be generous. Don't be generous. Yeah, they actually pretty mashed. I ain't gonna hold you. You know the bussing. Bussing. Mm, mm, mm. Bro. Stop. Bro. Stop dropping stuff. The potatoes. Okay. Like I said, you can mash yours more if that's what your heart desires. I'm trying to do this with one hand, y'all. Excuse me. But yeah, you can mash this more if that's what your heart desires. But for me, that's a good consistency. I'm going to add just a little bit more milk. Okay. Let me stir that. Put a little bit of parsley and some more butter on the potatoes. So those are done. I'll just stir those up. My broccoli. Done. That's how I like it. I like it a little more cooked, actually. And then the steak is in there. I'm going to just finish this up, y'all. I added parsley, pepper, butter. And then I added a little bit of butter in here. But I'll be trying to not add butter to everything. A little bit of just very light pepper. And I'm going to put this on the plate, y'all. And we're going to see how it tastes. After cooking, there's obviously a mess. So I'm going to put this stuff up. Taste a little piece, y'all. Okay. This is final results. Need a little bit of that juice to make the steak. Like I said, the steak could be a little bit juicier. But this is final results. Potatoes busting, bro. <laughs> Potatoes busting. Just so y'all can see it. And let me taste it. Okay, y'all. I really want a soda uh, um coke or something a, a dr pepper mm. that's good you know i really want a coke or 
Dr. Pepper to complete this meal because that would be perfect. But taste test, y'all, this is horrible. This angle and stuff. That's working. That's working. That's working. Mm, mm, mm. I'm proud. Not too bad. Not bad, y'all. Again, thank y'all so much for all the love and support. Um, comment, share, like, and subscribing. Again, don't forget to like this video, please. Editing does take time. So if you guys wouldn't mind, don't forget to click that like button. Um, and y'all comment down below what other videos you would like to see from me. And let's just get active to keep growing and growing. Again, guys, you are awesome if no one told you today. And don't forget to always be uniquely you. That's what makes you stand apart from everybody else. So um, be a leader and not a follower. And don't forget that you are beautiful inside and out. Until the next video. Bye.